With every month that passes by, I get more clarity into what I want to share here on the channel. Today's video is covering one of my top passions, which is world travel. Today, we're getting on a plane and going on an adventure. Where are we going? We're going to Tulum, Mexico. I'll be sharing my thoughts on Tulum and covering my hunt for the perfect taco. We all work hard and deserve a break. As an entrepreneur, I need to make time to decompress and reap the benefits of the choices that I make. On this channel, I discuss living globally along with business hacks in real estate and healthcare, showing you a path so that you can do the same. I want you to be able to live your dreams. If this is content you want more of, make sure that you like this video, subscribe, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss a thing. My name is Carl Pierre, and this is the NTP Life. Getting to Tulum is not that difficult. Most countries and cities have a flight to Cancun, Mexico, as it is a major tourist destination. From Cancun Airport, you gotta take a taxi or a shuttle that'll take you to the heart of Tulum, which is first a downtown area, and then you make your way on over to what everybody's used to seeing on the internet. This was a surprise trip planned by my wife, and she picked a hotel, so this is my first time seeing it. The thing that differentiates Tulum from Cancun is that Cancun is typically these huge resort style hotels, but Tulum seems to be more about boutique hotels built with a jungle vibe. I'm a lover of the coast, and the beach is a place for me. The beach here at Tulum doesn't disappoint. White coral sand beaches and crystal blue waters. As a foodie, I'm always critical of the restaurants that are at hotels. Most of them aren't that great unless they're independently owned or they tend to be really good if they're boutique hotels where there's a chef who really cares about the food that's being delivered. Throughout Tulum, there's a series of really good restaurants, well rated, and since these hotels are boutique hotels that are privately owned and really small operations, a lot of the restaurants are pretty good. It's atypical for me to want to spend my time entirely in a well-preserved scenic resort or hotel style accommodation. I really like to get a sense of what is the authentic town. So we decided that we we're going to go on a taco hunt and leave the Tulum tourist zone and make our way back to downtown Tulum to find the perfect taco. Leaving Tulum is rather difficult as the roads are in horrible, horrible shape. I have no idea why the roads are this bad, but imagine navigating these swampy roads on this moped. Complete disaster. So we uh, finally got into town on the Collectivo. And the Collectivos are essentially a cooperative that was designed, or like a cooperative bus system, that was designed to actually get the locals from the town into like the main strip in Tulum because there is no public transportation that goes on there. Apparently the history is that it's a private road owned by the hotels, so there is no bus, no services. So the Collectivo is providing the service to allow people to get to work to and from the area at a cost-effective price. This taxi ride would have probably cost $30, right? Uh, something like that, 30, 25, 30. And on the Collectivo, for the two of us, it only cost 60 pesos, which was $3. As you make your way downtown, the architecture changes quite a bit, and it starts to look a little bit more like your typical Mexican city or town. There's a lot of new construction, a lot of old construction, and you can see that maybe the city is starting to turn around. I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing here in Tulum, uh, but just earlier I was talking to my wife about I wouldn't buy anything here. I really don't like it here. And then I walked out of my uh, resort. Hello, guy. And I walked out of my resort and I saw a nice crappy structure that I thought might make a, a pretty interesting purchase. Check, check this out. This little guy right here. You could add some plumbing, some electrical, and convert it. I have no idea how big it is, how far deep it goes, but it's got to be at least 
120 square feet, but let's just say it's 400. If this was 400 square feet and a standalone property, you could convert this into a little like couple's bungalow for not much money and create something really cool that people would love. But again, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if it's actually, oh my, I'm not sure if it's actually for sale or available or, or something that can be done. But it supposedly, I think it can be done. And if it could be done, if that's something like that is a little product that I would take on. But not exactly in love with Tulum as a, as a place that I would want to call home. But uh, due to the prices and the potential that's out here, the tourism potential, I think it makes sense to have something like an Airbnb out here, something that could generate money. But that's the sort of project that I would take on. Here's another small apartment building. This is Tulum. I'm basically on a mission for some tacos. I don't want I don't want like green gold tacos or these luxury tacos. I want some street meat. 50 peso tacos. I want 19 peso tacos. One buck. Cheap street meat the way it was intended to be. I don't want a 50 peso taco or, a, or three tacos for 280 pesos. No, 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 no. Gonna do it like the old locals today. The, the cheapest. Why are you so cheap? And you may be asking why am I so damn cheap? Just because I do well doesn't mean that I should somehow become ridiculous with money, even though money is falling out of my pockets. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna just spend for the sake of spending. That's like absurd. So I still try to find value in what I do in life. Don't get it twisted. Just because you have it doesn't mean you need to spend it ridiculously. <sighs> that was uh, round one. I guess an average score. But now we're gonna look for some seafood tacos, maybe fresh or shrimp, or something along those lines. So, uh, <laughs> to Google we go. Uh, the best fish tacos, shrimp tacos in town, guaranteed, definitely. You won't find any better. Yeah, I walk away for one second and come back. She has tacos and, and I have this. <laughs> That's how it gets started. Part two. Let's see what this is all about here. This spot only serves carnitas, nothing else. No chicken, no beef, no margaritas, nothing but carnita tacos and, and tortas, just carnita. That's the best taco I've ever had, but it's decent.
I only share this portion of my private life just to remind you all that there's always a time for you to relax, break out of your normal routine, and enjoy life. Just because you're an entrepreneur and you're building a thriving business doesn't mean that you shouldn't take time for yourself. This is something that I personally struggle with and I wanna make sure that anybody who's following me knows that it's extremely important to make time for yourself, family, and loved ones. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below, and I'm curious as to what city you'd like me to cover next. Until the next one, take care.